Michael Goodwin Kelly. Thank you so much. And this is my other secret boyfriend here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you always take Thank care of me every time Thank we come you. in. Uh, so, what can you tell us uh, a little bit about the place? Now, how long have you been in business? John David uh, Shoes has been here for, t we're going on 27 years this oh year. Oh my goodness. Yeah. 27, 27 I didn't years. Realize it's that long. It's one of, the, one of the few businesses left in Park Lane yeah. that yeah. actually has been here since the very beginning. There's us and a couple others that are here in the mall that wow. have been here since Park Lane first opened. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah. wow. Uh, I know when I first moved here from Ottawa, I was so excited that I came in and I found this place and I think my first week here, I had seven <laughs> pairs of shoes. <laughs> we hear that a lot. We get that <laughs> oh my a lot. God, it was bad. And that's been what, that's 10 years ago for me. So yeah. and I'm a customer ever since and I just love coming down here. Um, so where do you get most of your shoes coming from? Most of the shoes that we carry usually come from Europe. Oh, uh, wow, a, okay. a large portion of our shoes, uh, France, Germany. Yeah. Um, what else? There's, we have Italian brands. Yeah. We have brands that are uh, made like all over the world. Uh, a particular designer from Montreal. His stuff is made over in Spain and Portugal. We have it's stuff incredible. from Romania. Yeah, it's all over the world. So where does John get them? Does he actually go, you know, on these travel trips? There's or? a group of us. There's yeah. myself, John, and Jill. We're the buying team for John David Shoes. Yeah. And we go to the Toronto Shoe Show. Yeah. We've attended the New York Shoe Show and the Las that Vegas no Shoe fun, Show. No, that was a <laughs> tough show. Yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. So talk to me about, you know, what's happening for the summer, you know, with the shoes. and Lots of color. Color yes. is, the, is the big trend. Look at those. I know. Look, aren't these amazing? They're like the wings of a dragonfly. They're just iridescent and very beautiful. I need to have wings. <laughs> Everybody needs to have some wings. <laughs> of course, you know, Pantone introduced the two colors for spring, which was yeah. a blush, which is a big color story in blush These shoes. Are gorgeous as well. Lovely. And I, you know, I'm a fan of your Facebook page, and your stuff comes up on my, uh, you know, my Facebook feed. And yes. it's, uh, it's bad. Mm -hmm. I do that. <laughs> I I'm responsible for that. <laughs> uh, and I'm noticing that you're getting a lot of shoes for us aging women. And uh, it's not just the high shoes that we're coming It's in. not just high heels anymore. High heels are always sexy and fun. Yeah. And they have their, you know, their occasion to, uh, to be used. But, you know, for everyday wear, there's lots of these lower heels. Yeah. Similar to the one that you just picked up. Mm -hmm. Things like this. These amazing little slingbacks. Those are so easy to wear. And you can pair it together with a purse for a special occasion. Awesome. So. Now, what would you say is your biggest trends that are in here? I think the two biggest things that are happening, of course, besides the color, yeah. are the textures that are happening. Over here is a brand we have from France, and they've reintroduced this beautiful woven leather. This is all hand-woven in India. Wow. And then the leathers are shipped to France where the shoes are all made. 
That's incredible. Now, how about, is this the same company? This is all the same company. This is all France Mode. Yeah. And they're just one of our most amazing brands. These shoes have a little elastic fit here. Yes. For all those little spots on the lady's foot that she never likes to talk about, but might Token. pain her. Yes. Token. Yes. That up. This is great. Yeah, really high cut. And, She's you know, and it is a nice heel, and it's a sensible heel, and it's longer than a two-hour shoe. Exactly. You can work all day. You can go to an event in the evening and be able to stand and be comfortable. Because that's the number one thing I hear about is you know, wanting shoes to be comfortable. This, this is one of my favorite brands. This is a new line for us. It's our third season. It's Atelier out of Montreal. Yeah. And this is the guy I was talking about that he travels the world literally finding the best people in the world to make his product. And they're not sold online. They're only sold in boutique shops with wow. the Atelier line. And this is a big trend too, this platform shoe. You're seeing a lot of more sportwear. Yes, and I've been noticing that. But like, fashionable sportwear. It's not just your Nikes and your Reeboks. It's like high-end fashion but at affordable prices. Super lightweight, isn't You know, it? I think about, you know, traveling. Exactly. And you don't want to have a pair of sneakers on your feet. Yeah. You want to have something a little bit more trendy. And yeah, you don't want to look like the Taurus, but you want to be comfortable. You want to have the comfort of your sneaker, but you want to look sharp and smart and walk into a, you know, a museum or a hotel and... And be cute. And be cute. All at the same time. And there they are. So if people wanted to find you online, like, it, like how would they do that? You can find us at on Facebook at John David Shoes. Yeah. You can also... Um, visit us here in the store in Parkland Mall, and those are our two big things. Can I order online from you guys? You can order through our Facebook page. It's not an actual like where you go online and yeah. it's not like an online shopping store. What happens is people contact me personally via Facebook, yeah. or you can email me directly if you contact us, and then we do a little back and forth, find out what you want, sizing, and we do it all through Facebook. We ship from everywhere, from St. John's, Newfoundland, to Akalawit is my furthest customer. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I have a young lady from Akalawit. She was incredible. here on vacation, and she found us and found out we had Facebook, and she shops on our Facebook page all the time now. Oh yes, you, your your Facebook page, like I go through every time this month I'm going through. And it's nice too that you have gift certificates here. They always make a great gift. And yes. I'm always tickled pink every Christmas and birthdays that they are, you know. That All the guys that get stuck and don't know the size. <laughs> Come here. Gift certificates fit every time. <laughs> well, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much. Take care. Take care. You and smile. Look, look at this, because you know what? It's all about him now. Yeah, I like this. We're here at Sagatia on uh, in where Spring Garden Place, Spring yes. Garden Place. And those who know me know I, I like crazy socks. I can't remember the last time I actually wore a black pair of socks or white tube socks. I don't know. Between you and my husband, mm -hmm. like honest to goodness, every Tuesday morning we go into work. It's like they call each other. Like, are you wearing blue today? Because I'm going to wear blue. And then it's a competition to see who has the best, craziest socks. Yeah. And you know what they said? Those who wear crazy socks are smart, revolutionary, and successful. It's proof. It's proof. Well, I just have pantyhose on. They have pantyhose in here, too. So I'm really excited. They have great things in there. So let's go in let's because go in. it's exciting. Awesome. You want to come back over here, Sandra? I am here with Rachel Budovich, and she is the owner of Sakatuya. I gotta say, I'm, I'm pretty excited to come in here. I didn't even know you existed. And then again, this is one of the reasons why we started this program, right. or this process of, of the facts, is to bring awareness to all these great small businesses here in Halifax. So tell me a little bit about yourself, and why Socks? Well, first of all, I appreciate that, yes. because you know Halifax is a small city. We've it been is. in business, luckily, for 29 years. So we do wow. have a following, but our current location isn't as visible, so this is really great. Um, why socks? And I know it's not just socks. I mean, you got no, so much in it's your store. No, it's certainly expanded so it's, from socks. Yeah. We have underwear, we carry jewelry, we have sunglasses, we have reading glasses, we have undergarments. Um, it started out 29 years ago when I was looking for a pair of navy pantyhose of all things. Yeah. And couldn't find the right color. Wow. Couldn't buy it here. And I had a brother living in Montreal at the time, and he there was a store he used to send me socks from, and I 
the rest the, is history. The rest is basically rest history. Is history. You know, there's more story to that's go with. That's a great story. That's 29 good. years, Washington, for you. Thank you. Good for you. Thank Small you. business lasting 29 years yeah, no, is, very is definitely an accomplishment. A lot of good customers, and, yeah. and it's a fun business. I enjoy what I do. It is fun. So and, and let's get into some fun. Yeah. I see a lot of a lot of options here. As, as everybody knows, I do wear the crazy socks. Well, that's, you know yeah. what? And that trend, I mean, been doing it for 29 years. It's gone up, back and forth. But this yeah. is the first time, I'd say, in the last three years that there's been this great a selection yeah. of men's fun socks. Yeah. Um, women you could always find, yeah. but men's it's it's great. And then the other big trend is for weddings for grooms, groomsmen, yes. and the groom to have matching socks or something that's indicative to their personality yeah. or something about them. Now, do you do specialty socks? Like if somebody wanted a certain design on the sock, can you order things? If I, I try to, we do a lot of special order. Where I mean, that's one of the things about being a small business. We try to be customer oriented, yes. so we yeah. do a lot. We try to bend over. As best as we can for people, yeah. and uh, our prices are the same as when you buy elsewhere. So, but the only thing we can offer is service. Awesome, that's awesome. So I also noticed over here the Saks underwear, and I heard a lot of great things. Uh, I'm a Calvin Klein guy. Yeah. Uh, but I'm hearing great things about Saks. So this is is this one of your popular? It's really underwear? been very popular. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll uh, show you the, the whole idea behind the Saks. First of all, it's a Canadian company, and they were they got their start on Dragon's Den, which actually we have a few companies in the store know that. from Dragon's I didn't Den. Know that. The whole idea is they have a mesh pouch there to keep everything held in and tight and that not is moving important. around. That is important. So that's their design feature. <laughs> and then from there, they've really expanded. They've gone into, um, they're not so basic. Right. This one here's got like a fine stripe with a paisley nice. waistband. There's boulder stripes. They've got a lot of great patterns and they come in different materials. There's Modell, there's cotton, there's ones that are thermal, there's wool. Definitely have to check those out. And Calvin Klein, of course, Klein has definitely yeah. expanded the all yeah. theirs, and they're always coming out with new patterns and colors. Um, and this wide waistband has been a yeah. new popular style for them, awesome. and the shorter trunk style is kind of. And you also have female stuff here, not just not just the men. We, you and I see the Spanx and. We carry Spanx, which Spanx has has really uh, expanded their line. It's not just shapers anymore. It's shapers in every kind of makeup of material or in different styles, new colors, new types of bras and some things aren't as tight sport as their initial lines were. Yeah. Tights, they do tights which are fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then this is the hot new item right here from yes. Calvin Klein. The sports bras. This is the one that um, Kylie Jenner is uh, oh, wow. sporting and it's their new sport line and it's been started out with the basic cotton which 29 years ago when I opened, this was the bra that we carried from Calvin Klein. Wow. Fast forward, the it's evolution. like the hot new trend. Yeah, the evolution of sport bras. And these ones are really cute socks. These are from the States. They're called Softy to Me. This is actually the underwear, my mistake, but they have matching socks. Cool. And then we also have men's boxer briefs with the patterns and matching socks as well. That's fantastic. So lots yeah, to choose from for sure. Lots is. of options. There that's, is. that's great. Yeah, it's fun. It's a fun business to be in now. Yes. Yes. Thanks, Rachel. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Here we are. I know. Look at you. Yes. Calling I'm going. Ear to ear. This has been a great day. Yes. Well, here we are. The whole day. Well, not the whole, the whole day, day. But most of it has been about shame. And now we're here. At the suitor. Oh my goodness. In Dresden. Yes. yes. Wait till you men win it and you see this. Yeah. Like I love this stuff. And and for you. Well, that's why I kind of dressed up a little bit today because I knew we were coming here, of course. Shane, you're our GQ boy every day. Mm -hmm. Like let's just be honest. He comes to work and he's suit and tie. Well, I uh, suit and tie sometimes. Sometimes I'm in blazer and, and jeans. And I kind of mix it up a little bit. But anyway, I like to dress up. I like to look good. Yes. Many yes. options here in Halifax to choose from for in terms of men's clothing. But we're here at the suitor, so we're going to go inside. We're going to yes. meet the owner. We're going to talk about suits and fitting and all kinds of really cool stuff. So I'm really excited. Let's go in. Okay. All right. All right, I'm here with Rad Daniel from The Suitor. Thank you very much for having us here, Rad. I'm really excited. I, I like to look good. I like to dress up, and uh, I think it's very important to, uh, to, to dress up because you feel good. When you feel good, you look good, you feel good. So, so what can you tell us a little bit about yourself, first of all? How long have you been here, and 
what brought you into, into this business? Well, it's been 20 years this year uh, that I've been in business, and in this location it's been nine years. Wow, good for you, good yeah. for you. Yeah, when I look back, it's almost, uh, yeah. Like it was yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, wow. Um, so, talk a little about some of the features that you have. I know you do, do custom tailoring, I see you down over there. So, if somebody was to order a suit, we get, we get books, we can kind of pick, pick from if you wanted to have, you know, certain patterns and certain... Uh, materials that you want to do. Tell us a little bit about that process. So basically I have everything off the rack uh, that we custom fit to you and then we also have a full custom line. So basically we can make just about anything other than shoes and socks. Wow. Yeah. What kind of turnaround do you have? So if I was to come in here today and you measure me and size me and pick the pattern start to finish. We can do just about anything that's, that's fantastic. That's yeah. a really good turnaround. That's awesome. All right, so what do we have here? Let's, let's talk a little bit about this. Spring okay. is coming up, and we've got some nice bright colors. Yeah, blue is actually, blue is the new gray. Blue is the new gray. Yes, yeah. it is. It is. You've got some blue on I do side. have some blue on. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. Uh, I'm actually thinking about purchasing a gray suit. Um, I know gray is nice, but I really do love blue. Do you find colors are really popular this time of year? Or? Definitely. Yeah. Right now, everything is brightly enough. For spring, um, yellow seems to be the new pink. It's coming up pretty strong this season. Uh, this tie actually is handmade. It's uh, made by Herman De Mercy out of Toronto, and it's a seven-fold tie. That sounds so, sophisticated. Yeah, yeah. So basically, there's seven folds in this tie, wow. and a lot of guys like to have that bigger knot. Yeah. Yes. Right? So uh, this comes in really handy. Uh, it gives it a lot more thickness, yes. uh, so you'll be able to get a nice, nice, nice neck. Yeah. Yeah. And the shirt is actually uh, touched by Ballard, it's made by Ballard out of Montreal. So another Canadian company, another excellent. Canadian Very company. good. Yeah. And uh, they're Italian fabrics, and they fit like a dream. Awesome. Just amazing. The fabrics are all uh, Egyptian cotton. Um, the suit is an S color, comes out of Montreal. Fantastic. So let's let's say I was new to the suit and I was coming in off the street, never wore a suit before in my life. What would be some tips that you could give to me if I was to buy a suit? What would you recommend? What are some things to say? Well, <clears throat> for one, I would uh, I would I would want to know what you do. Yeah. Definitely. And um, figure out what you do, what your needs are right. when it comes to a suit. Um, for the most part, you probably start out with some basics if you don't have anything yeah. to, to start with and uh, kind of build it from there. Right. So what about fitting? Like what, what, what should you look for? Uh, when I see suits, I see some suits fit well, look like they fit well on guys and some that don't, maybe the size. What, what are the key features of a well-fitted and well-tailored suit? Well, you, you, you'd want something to fit well through the shoulders. Shoulders? Very important. Uh, when a suit does fit well through the shoulders, the chest and back automatically fit for the most part. Um, you want to take a look at the length of the jacket. Um, and then what ends up happening for the most part, you know, this the waist is never perfect mm -hmm. for us guys. Mm -hmm. you know? And then the sleeves are usually a little shorter, a little longer, yeah. depending on the shirt that you're wearing. So we'll we get into adjustments when it comes to mainly around the waist area, sleeves, if the shoulders need to be cleaned up through the back. Um, but essentially when somebody comes in, we take a look at the whole thing. Yeah. Right? Right. Whatever needs to be done, we do. Yeah. Are you seeing more double-breasted as opposed Actually, to the three-button? You know, something in Canada, you don't see a lot of double-breasted no. anymore. Yeah. You know? uh, it's mainly in Europe. Usually when the two-button comes out, Usually the double breasted usually follows, uh, but it hasn't made a big impact at all yeah. in the market. You probably see a lot more of that in the US, awesome. but not in Canada. Now I learned a little tip a while back, and correct me if this is not a good tip. If this was a three button, and the rule is always, sometimes, never. Is that true? So never button the bottom button, always button the middle, and sometimes you can button the top. Is that true? For the most part, yes. Um, 
usually it's the top two buttons. Yes. All right. And then you'll see Jay Leno. You yeah. ever watch yeah. Late Night? He's famous for just buttoning just the, center, one. the yep. center button. Uh, but when it comes to a jacket, uh, a man's jacket, you actually never button the bottom button never. at all. Yep. In any jacket, it could yep. be three buttons, two buttons, six buttons, double breasted, could be anything. It doesn't matter. You never button this, the, the the last button. And the reason being is that it's too close to the waist yep. area. So what happens is it interferes with the mechanics of the jacket. Right. So when you're moving around, you put your hands in your pocket. It kind of tugs at the suit, so it doesn't drape as well. So that's why you essentially just leave that open. Any other tips you can think of, like tie length? I'm always always told that it should be to the to the belt, never farther and never above. Yeah, it should be. Essentially, it should just touch the belt. Actually, you know, possibly just a little lower, maybe a quarter of an inch, half an inch, mm -hmm. just below the belt, because you are moving. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. A lot of helpful hints here, for sure. And if anybody can get a hold of you, do you have a website that people can go to to check out? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. website is a suitor.com, I believe, or .com, .ca. Uh, suitor.ca. And phone number? Phone number is 902-429-7979. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Ryan. Appreciate it. Yeah. There you have it. All right, so there you have it. Another episode of The Facts in the Books. This was a lot of fun to film, as every episode is for sure. We really are enjoying this process, uh, showcasing local businesses and meeting the entrepreneurs that, uh, that make this amazing city of Halifax so great. We really are enjoying it. We hope you're enjoying it too. So we would like to hear from you. If you have a business that you would like for us to promote, please leave a comment down below with your suggestions and comments. We really do want to hear from you. We want to continue this, uh, this journey. Uh, we do have some fantastic ideas for future episodes, so please stay tuned. Join us on our Facebook site, and uh, you can follow along with us there. Um, so, on behalf of myself and Sandra Pike, who is not here right now, she's off buying more shoes. So I'll have to track her down later. So we uh, really appreciate you joining us today, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode of The Facts. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.